So I have both my dog and my cat in here while I'm trying to film it. So if I have to stop for them, I'm sorry. But they're being good right now. They're not always going to be good. Okay, so I just wanted to make another video about vet tech school and everything that's been going on since my first semester ended. I'm currently on winter break, on my last week of winter break actually, and I start my second semester on Monday. So it's really exciting. Um, the first semester we were diving into the basic um, things we needed to know. We had anatomy of, in physiology, anatomy and physiology lab. Um, they were split up into two different classes, which was lecture and lab. Lecture is obviously when the teacher's lecturing, going through notes, and we're writing down everything. And lab was more of the hands-on stuff, the dissections, um, that kind of thing. Lab was definitely, definitely 100% my favorite. Um, not everyone loved the dissections, but I totally did. <laughs> it really helped me to see the organs, like the layout of the organs and the actual anatomy of the animals and to be able to hold the organs and learn what they were versus a lecture where I just had to sit down and take notes and just kind of like listen and record the lecture. I just definitely lecture was not my favorite at all. Lab actually was my favorite class. Um, and then there was Breeds. Breeds was my second favorite class, um, and we just went through the different species of canine, feline, bovine, equine, which is just um, dogs, which was just dog, cat, horse, and uh, cow. I don't know if I said those in the right order, but you know what I mean. Those, like, bovine is cow, um, equine is horse, uh, feline is obviously cat, and uh, canine is dog. Um, so we just went through, and we had more... Um, species in that, but those are the only ones I can think of at the moment. Um, so we just went through those and learned all the different breeds of the species of the animals that we were learning about. We learned the scientific names, we learned their heart rate, their temperatures, um, their weaning age, their uh, age of puberty. We just learned those aspects of the animals. And there was medical terminology, which I didn't like. Um, basically, I just learned a lot of medical terms much of which I kind of knew, um, some I didn't, so that was good. But yeah, medical terminology, and then there's like an intro to medical um, technology, which is just basically like an intro class to everything vet tech E. Like I learned in my state, which is North Carolina, that if you have not gone to a registered, or not registered, to accredited program, um, passed the program, sat for the national and state boards, and got registered, you are not considered a vet tech at all. And if you can, if you call yourself a vet tech, or you're recognized as a vet tech, that's actually a misdemeanor charge in my state, which I didn't know because there's a lot of unregistered uh, veterinary assistants going by the term veterinary technician, which is really not fair when I have to go to school for two years and sit for the boards um, where they get to just, you know, learn uh, hands-on at the vet clinic and then they're magically a veterinary technician. It's not fair and I didn't know it was against the law but now I do <laughs> which is just kind of crazy but it's a good thing. It's like you can't impersonate like a human nurse if you're a CNA so why would a veterinary assistant be considered a vet tech if that makes sense. That's how I feel about it anyways. But yeah, so first semester is really, really good. Um, I passed all my classes, obviously. I'm moving on to the second semester. Um, every one of my classmates, I'm really close to. Like, we are such a tight-knit group, which I don't know if I mentioned it in my first video, but I was definitely not expecting to, like, make friends with anybody, really. And I made friends with, like, everybody. So it was really cool. We actually had, like, an end-of-the-semester, like, um, we survived <laughs> type party. And it was really, really fun. So I'm really close with my classmates. I passed all my classes. I'm excited to see what next semester, oh, this coming up semester holds. And uh, yeah, so the classes that I'm taking this coming up spring semester, it's kind of strange because there's only three veterinary classes I have to take. I have to take some prerequisites because I didn't take them before going in the program, but not everyone has to. So I'm just going to be talking about the regular um, vet tech classes. So my vet tech classes this year is veterinary office practices, um, veterinary parasitology, and veterinary diseases one. And I actually have the textbooks. I picked them up yesterday, so I'm going to show you those. 
This is the parasitology textbook. Um, apparently from the second years, parasitology is like one of their favorite classes. It's also like one of the most difficult. So I'm kind of excited about parasitology to see what it holds. This is one of the pages. Yeah, I'm really excited to see what parasitology is all about. And then we have my diseases um, material. So veterinary office practices doesn't have any kind of like uh, material. There's no textbooks or notes for it. I just have to have a notebook. So I don't have anything to show you for that. But as far as my diseases one class go, this is the book for it. It's Common Diseases of Companion Animals. And I haven't really looked through this book much. Um, I've skimmed through it, but not um, not as much as I have through the parasitology book. I'm really excited for parasitology. Um, there's a cool picture I wanted to show you. Oh, yeah, that one. Ooh. These are the notes that my teacher does. She pre-prints notes and then we buy them from the bookstore. And then, well, this is what it looks like first off. And like this is kind of like what our, this is like kind of like how lecture is. Like we'll go through PowerPoints and she'll be reading everything and um, talking to us and we'll fill in the notes as she's talking. So that's Diseases Notebook. Not much to it. And yeah, um, I'm really excited for this semester. I feel like I'm really starting to get a move on things. I feel like it's going to start going faster and faster. And by the time, like this time next year, I'm going to, it's going to be my last semester. I'm um, going to almost graduate. Like um, I'll graduate May of next year. So it's really exciting. Um, my semesters I have left is summer semester, which starts like May um, 16th, I think, of this year. And then I have uh, another fall semester and then one more spring semester. And then, yeah, I graduate. I, my graduation date that they have for graduation um, is May 12th, 2017. That is my official graduation date. I'm super excited. Um, the semester I'm looking forward to the most would have to be summer semester. I'm really, really excited for summer because that's when we start clinicals. And I can't wait to do clinicals. And then in fall, we do externships. So it's really exciting. Um, I can't wait to see what this program holds. I'm really excited that I've moved on or moving on to the next um, semester. A lot of people weren't as fortunate as me. And some people did not pass. And a lot of people did not. Um, a lot of people just dropped the classes. They found out that this was not the field for them, which is kind of sad. But at the same time, you shouldn't go into a field that you're not passionate about and that's not like what you want to do for the rest of your life because then you start putting animals at stake, um, animals' lives at stake, and we don't want that. So it's better that they drop and find out what they're passionate about than go into a field and not do well and then have um, animals' lives, you know, that are sacrifice basically um but yeah i'm just glad that i'm still in the program i'm gonna finish the program i'm really excited and keep you guys updated as much as i can i know i only made one video and then like nothing else last semester it was the first semester and i was really busy um but hopefully i can find a better balance this semester and keep making videos and have you guys updated so one thing i did not mention is this little girl so this is my dog stormy yay this is Stormy. Um, I adopted her from my program. If I didn't mention it a while ago in my last video, um, my program does have dogs and cats on campus that we use for like blood draws and anesthesia and just like learning. And um, they're all adoptable. And we have this thing called enrichment. Enrichment is when students are assigned a dog or a cat um the first year students get dogs second year students get cats and you're assigned a specific dog and it is your job to take them out every week to love on them play with them and give them the attention and affection they deserve and need and stormy was my first enrichment dog and i fell in love with her and um she actually had and um, she actually had heartworms, which is really, really sad. It's a horrible thing for any animal to go through, dog or cat, because dog or cats can get them. They're actually worms and they're hot 
in their heart for anyone who didn't know and it's really sad to watch um, but she had to go through a really expensive treatment that my school paid for and that she's now cured of heartworm she finished her treatment in December so that's good she is heartworm free and she will remain so for the rest of her life she's now at a loving home and for anyone who's wondering where we get our animals from, we get them from the local shelter. There's actually just one shelter that we get them from, and it's close to where I live. And yeah, that's where we get our animals animals from. They're in quarantine for a couple, for a little bit, and then we can put them down in the colony, we say, um, which is like where all the other animals are. But yeah, so that story, I just wanted to introduce her because I don't think I have before. And this little guy is Boots. My sister brought him home when he was a stray, like, I don't even know how many years ago. Too many to count. But yeah, that's Boots. I'm pretty sure you guys seen him before. But yeah, those are my animals. I just wanted to, just wanted to show you guys in case you haven't met my fur babies before. Well, that's it. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or um, comments, just comment down below. Also, if you like my channel and you want to watch more of my videos, you can subscribe. And yeah, until next time, bye guys.